Hey everybody, I'm Ben, and behind me here, this is uh, the engine from my uh, diesel electric hybrid truck project. Uh, it's kind of something I've had in the back of my mind for a long time. Uh, it's been a little bit of a slow going project, partly because I don't know anything about diesels or uh, transmissions. Uh, but I got an idea, and I'm playing around with it and chipping away at the project. And uh, hopefully uh, you know more about transmissions than me and you can give me some advice. But uh, I want to show you what I got here so far. And uh, let's take a look at the new transmission that I have down here. So to start with, this is the, uh, the engine from the 1976 Mercedes 240D. Uh, but the car this came out of had an automatic transmission. I digged up a manual flywheel and temporarily bolted it on there. And the idea was I wanted it to go to my Chevy 5-speed transmission, which matched the truck. So I already had the existing mounting points and everything. But I was kind of baffled trying to figure out how to do this. So I dug around and I found a manual transmission that matches this diesel engine. Uh, now this is only a 4-speed. Um, looks a little bit different than I'm used to seeing. It's got these three kind of levers coming off here. Um, instead of just going straight to the, uh, the stick gear shift selector like, like I'm used to seeing on the Chevy truck. Another thing that's kind of different here is it has, I think this is called a rag joint, uh, kind of a disc with uh, three and three bolt connectors, sort of a, a hard rubbery material. Uh, doesn't look like exactly the best thing to bolt an electric motor to, though. Um, but what I was most interested in is the actual bell housing itself, because if I look here, this is, uh, I think it was about five and a half inches. But the bell housing is the right thing to go with this. For example, matches up with all the holes and the starter has a little bump out for the starter. Now, if we look instead over at the Chevy S10 transmission, if we look at this thing, the uh, spot for the starter is on the wrong side and it's just a little bit thicker going this direction. It's about, a, about an inch thicker. So I'm wondering if I take the bell housing off, off of here and I literally just swap bell housings. Uh, the other one should be about an inch shorter than this, which should give me up to an inch to play with for spacers or whatever I need to do to make them connect right. And uh, I, th I think I can essentially do a fancy bell housing swap. Now down here I've already got a uh, clutch that the splines here match the splines on the Chevy 5-speed transmission but the uh, the diameter and the friction material here are the right size to fit inside this flywheel and then I also already have the uh, the clutch cover that'll fit that and will fit this flywheel so if I can fit that together uh, with the bell housing from the Mercedes 4-speed and the transmission from the Chevy 5-speed, bolt it all together, get everything spaced out, right? I think I'm doing pretty good. I still gotta uh, get some... Uh, I need some new flywheel bolts. Apparently the uh, length of the bolts between uh, manual and automatic are different, and I also need a bushing or uh, bearing of some sort to uh, support the... Uh, the, the tip, the, uh, the pilot bearing for the transmission. And then once the Chevy transmission is on there, I'll connect the end here, instead of going straight to a drive shaft, it's going to go to a big DC electric motor and then to a shortened drive shaft. So anyways, that's the general idea uh, right now. Um, if you got some other ideas, tips, uh, let me know. I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, I'm going to start taking a whack at the bell housing on the uh, old school Mercedes manual transmission here and see if I can get that bell off. See you next time.